If you have a good job and a poor social life, you're not going to stay. And North Dakota has figured out a formula to offer both. Um, for example, coming from a small town, you have the benefits of good jobs. Of, for example, I grew up in New Rockford. We have the pasta plant. We have the bison plant. Uh, the banks are very good to work for. We have a good school and education system in that area. And that's true for a lot of rural, rural communities in North Dakota. So from that perspective, you have a lot of stability and the communities are generally very welcoming. So it's pretty easy in a smaller town to set up your social circle. Um, in a bigger town such as Bismarck or Fargo, it's really nice that you again have the good jobs, the high growth opportunity. Um, Bismarck is much more fast paced than it used to be in terms of um, business development or social interactions. I used to think that it felt really laid back. And at the same time, we have a strong young professionals network within the state and especially within Bismarck. So that's been critical for me in setting up you need to get out of your college friends and that type of stuff. So how do you transition to a more professional and adult life? And for me, that's been very helpful. How about yes, uh, I personally do. Okay, for example, we all whine about the snow. Yeah. Everybody that lives in North Dakota will whine about yeah. the snow until yeah. they're blue in the face. But the truth is, we all love having four seasons because that means that we get four different categories of activities to take part in. So for me, the best part of being in Bismarck is having the river right here and being able to, we have a shop that we can rent kayaks at. Yep. So that's a huge selling point for me personally. Yep. I mean, um, the four seasons are something that Yes, wonderful. four seasons are key. You can cross country ski, you can downhill ski, you yep. can water ski, whatever. If you want to be on skis, you can be on skis year round. I think <laughs> it's the simple things. Uh, for example, being able to walk down the street and when you see somebody, you don't look down, you don't look away, you look at them, you smile and you say hi. We all say hi, how are you? It's like how are you just has to be connected. But when I lived in DC and interned there, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen down south where my grandparents are from. Um, that's unique to this part of the US. So it's the one-on-one -on -one interaction between individuals. Look at your opportunities in North Dakota from an outsider's perspective. Um, oftentimes in the state it's easy for students and young professionals to sit here and think there's nothing to do in North Dakota it doesn't offer me anything there's no growth opportunity the second that you step outside of our state and tell people where you're from you will immediately realize how wrong you are and I've seen that all across the US um, to be able to say I'm from North Dakota that automatically ties you to a strong work ethic and it's your job and to have the integrity to keep that image up, but they tie that to strong work ethic, um, innovative solutions, being open-minded. And those are a lot of the issues that I think youth overlook in the state and think that we don't offer here. When an outsider knows that. If there was a message for college students, I would tell them not necessarily to get their full education outside of the state, but do a study abroad. Do a couple study sure. abroads leave for a while, do your internship away. The new mindset and the new way of thinking that you'll come back with is what we need in the state. So it's not saying youth of North Dakota, you have to be locked into North Dakota 24 seven for your entire life. That's not what anybody's trying to say at all. Go out, learn, have an outside experience and bring it back to make us better. So.